Hello, this is Muhammad Mazai Masin, the TA for MEC 316 for 2019. And this is a demonstration video for a very interesting experiment. This is experiment number nine, the stress distribution determination using photoelasticity. In photoelasticity, we apply the stress over some transparent material and then just because of the stress concentration over that we observe that stresses in within that by just passing the light through that so you can observe the clear fringes which show the state of the stress though there is a limitation for checking that you only could do this with the transparent materials but later in applied stress analysis you may also study that these properties do matter but not that much so you can actually manipulate these tests for the other materials as well but for this time let's just proceed with the procedure so the first thing we need to do is turning on the monochromatic light from source this is our light source and just make sure that it's plugged in and we have both monochromatic light and the white light so first let's turn on the monochromatic light it takes some time to get heated and in the meanwhile we can just set up our apparatus so the threaded spindle is like already just locked inside for you you just need to use that supporting holder along with that adjusting nut in the beginning Here is our pressure piece so just make sure that this flat side you just put that inwards like that and you have this deep lead Okay, so anyways this setup will actually lock this up all over so everything will get fixed. Now just take this mounting model and place it over that stand and after that we need to take one of the specimen. So they are labeled in the manual as well. First, uh, we have to take the specimen A, which has a hole in the center. So all of these specimens are different in terms of the stress intensity. So let's balance it over there. And after that, what we need to do is place this load bridge over it. So here we go, just make sure that a single person is not balancing it because it's a little heavier and may fall down over that table and fall
falling continuously might not be that good because it's a wooden table so after that we have to use this ring dial gauge and we need to lock it here but in the beginning we need to make sure if it is still set at zero or not so it, since it's like a ring dial gauge you can actually rotate it and you can just make the needle come at exactly zero and after that just lock it so you may know or have like a rough idea how much force have you applied so now just move it upside a little and leave some space for the ring dial gauge Okay, so now we just will slowly pull it down, for downwards, and make sure that they are having a contact together. They are now having a contact and let's make it at least half around more half around means this one should come this side so yeah now you can see that it's getting a little bit loaded yeah so now this is actually a stressed condition and yeah it shows that it's actually not stressed so the next step is we need to place those polarized plates and the other filters as well so the polarization filters we have to adjust them on these stands here there are the pointers it doesn't matter if you actually begin one from the hair uh, like from this side or from the other side but just make sure that whatever side you are choosing just follow that order so I'm gonna choose the other side which is like in front of that monochromatic light so the first one it should be the polarized one so this one is a plain one this one is a polarized i'm just going to fit it here and Hopefully you can see it better from here. So 
we have to put it at like zero degree so here it is now now let's fit this quarter wave filter and we have to fit at 45 degrees So this I'm going to fit in the next one and we are just going to adjust it at 45 degrees and in the same way the next quarter wave filter we have to adjust at 315 degrees so we are going to balance it here at 315 degrees And the last one, again the polarization filter and this one needs to be adjusted at like 270 degrees. So two hundred and seventy. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so now it's adjusted and since it's still in stress, you can now observe the fringes. Uh, it could be done from this side as well. Mm, but I think we have to push that light back. So. I think now you can clearly see some of the fringes. Let me turn off the light. For a better view. So, you can already see the lines showing the stress. Now, let's increase the, no the load using that adjusting that. So as I apply more force, you can clearly see the difference how the force is increasing in the dial gauge and at the same time how the stress is shown. Brought it a bit closer so that you can clearly see. And now I am just going to rotate that adjustable nut to make you feel the changes i am for now i'm just like releasing the force a little so you can see the light is actually passing through only that glass plate but not from the other surfaces because of the polarized polarized plate so after that now i'm gonna apply that stress again and you can see the patterns changing as the stress is increasing it's clearly visible now as well
So now let's observe it with a different light source as well because this is only the monochromatic light. So in the case of white light, it has like the seven colors. So you can see a clear difference with that. I'm switching on the white light and this is like with the both of them and now I'll just switch off the monochromatic one so you can see the patterns of the white light how the colors actually get distributed and you can reduce the stress to see how patterns change in white light so these points of the load bar are having higher concentration of stress but in case of no force at all I think only red color would be visible having lower frequency that's all about this experiment and you need to do that for the other three specimen as well and since they are having the different types of the stress concentration areas because of the different types of cuts and the specimen D is totally solid so all of this will be actually quite different and you'll definitely enjoy it so see you in the next video